Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Blake and if you want to know more about my messages, my, my um, uh, business advice, my course and my books, just go to trevorgblake.com. All my proceeds go to Cancer Research and Development, so everybody wins. Hopefully you get some useful information and uh, my, my Cancer Research and Development get the proceeds. I am what other people call uh, a serial entrepreneur and as part of that I like to, to obviously teach about business but what makes me different and I use the tag for the, the sort of tagline on my uh, website something different is that I'm also a physicist and I'm a perpetual student of life and in that role when we use the 80-20 rule in business I find that I spend 80% of my time talking and teaching about energy and only 20% of my time talking about business structures and negotiation skills or whatever it might be that are pertinent directly to business and the reason I do that is that I'm lucky enough to have found a process and a program that allows us to play with energy in a different way and thereby change the outcomes of our lives, our experiences in our lives, simply by changing, using some tools and techniques to change how we interact with energy. And uh, what I want to share with you here, and these are always, my videos are always spontaneous, I don't script anything, same with my podcasts and, and also my books actually. Um, because I don't, you know, otherwise I'd just give you a two-dimensional preconceived notion of a, of a message. I don't want to do that. This is, this is something I want to share from a m more multidimensional sort of aspect. Um, we've all come through a really challenging year. And one of the consequences of the year that we've had is that we have less connection with one another than we had a year ago. Because it's forced by, you know, what are considered to be the reasonable responses to avoiding the spread of a, of a, of a, uh, virus. So we socially distance and, uh, you know, there's less high-fiving, there's less handshakes, there's less hugging, there's less touching. And that has a consequence. That's what I want to talk about. And this might seem unusual for a serial entrepreneur. And I am a serial entrepreneur. I've built six companies. I've sold three for over 300 million. So that's, you know, it's like my notches in the bedpost, if you like. I've, I've uh, you know, I've proven, you know, proven that I can do this. And I'm running three companies right now three completely different companies from this room, which is my global headquarters. Uh, we're having a snowy day today, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful, that fine powdery snow that uh, makes everything glitter. And uh, my three companies, uh, I have never had another employee. I started my first company in 2001, 2002, something like that. I've never had another employee and I never work more than two to three hours a day. It sounds fanciful, almost new age-like, but it's because I have a business structure and a business plan that is an idea whose time has just come. It's perfect for the time we're in. It's perfect for the embracing of technology and it's perfect for the embracing of a new energy that we're falling, us, we all find ourselves falling into. This sort of slow linear energy is passing over to this kind of fast energy and it's, whew, it's kind of dizzying, isn't it? And, and so, so what I wanna do is talk a little bit about energy and give you a technique that can allow you to reconnect. And when you reconnect, you can achieve all kinds of miraculous things in your life, disconnection, is not something that any of us want in business or life or anywhere else. Now this is a technique that you're going to want, it has no name, it was taught to me decades ago by, by a sage-like person who didn't give me a name for it, just taught it to me and, and explained how and why it works. Uh, you don't need to know how or why it works, you just need to do it, but if you, you, I think you're going to want to teach this to all of your business colleagues, your employees or your contractors and especially to all of your loved ones and so knowing how or why it works can be quite useful. So, so let's just talk a little bit physics. Let's get some basic facts down. And, and you know, a little known fact uh, is that we're all made of the same stuff. So you and me and the computer and the window and the trees behind it and the snow, we're all made of the same basic um, uh, foundations. And that is 12 particles of matter and four forces of nature. And so most people, when they think about what we're made of, will we'll know, we'll have enough, enough sort of scientific background to know that we're made of atoms and circulating electrons. Uh, but what a lot of people don't realize is that the atoms and circulating electrons are really the very m minority, the smallest part of who we are. Who we are is really energy. And so if we were to, so to put it in perspective, for a long time everybody thought that everything that's real, that's physical, is made up of atoms and circulating electrons, and in between them all is empty space. We now know since 2012 that empty, that empty space is filled with something that I like to call cosmic glue. It's an energy field called the Higgs field. But by thinking of it as cosmic glue, it, kind of, it, it helps us understand the, the importance of it, that it connects us all to everything, to the trees, to each other. It connects businesses to businesses. 
It connects me to people I don't know yet that can solve my problems. So, so if you know how to interact with this cosmic glue, it can make a huge difference in your life. That's what I teach, okay? Um, but that's not necessarily the, 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 the subject that I want to talk about today. So with less think atoms and circulating electrons, okay, now there are 7 billion people on the planet. If we could build a machine that sucked out all the cosmic glue from between the atoms and the circulating electrons of the 7 billion people, all 7 billion people would fit inside a one centimeter cube. That's how little physical matter there is in our world. Seven billion people, just the atoms and the circulating electrons, would fit inside a one centimeter cube and wouldn't even fill it. The rest is energy. But think about it. Think about how much time, money and effort we spend on the one centimeter cube. And our haircuts and our cosmetics and our clothes and our houses and our cars, especially in the West, on our food, on our emotions, on our dreams, on our physical aspects. And how little time most people spend on the energy side of it, which is all of it except for this tiny one centimeter cube. That's a mind boggling thought, but it's really important to us because we've all come through this really challenging year a year in which we've had to learn to socially distance, not to hug, not to high five, not to handshake. So a sort of touchless world, and that's important. And the reason I'm talking first of all about the matter and the energy is because we need to spend more time thinking about the energy than we think about the matter, particularly right now. Another fact, another something that, uh, that we need to, to think about Everything in life is energy, and that includes emotions and thoughts. So thoughts are produced by a neurochemical reaction. They have a measurable energy to them, and they go out into the universe. They're a real thing. Emotions are caused by something we hear, see, sense, feel, taste, and it triggers a reaction in us. And that reaction is caused by a cascade of hormones going through our blood, sending messages to our brain. But what's interesting about our emotions, about this process, is that that hormonal cascade only lasts 90 seconds and then it's gone forever. So if we see or hear something we don't like, we've watched the TV news and it's got a death count on it, COVID death counts, or we hear someone say something not very pleasant about us, we're not supposed to hear, but we hear it and it, has, it triggers a reaction in us, okay? After 90, after 90 seconds, that's gone. But if we still feel those emotions, it's because we've now chosen to hold on to them. And we can hold on to them forever if we choose to. That's important information also. And the third thing I want to talk about is touch. This will all make sense in a, in a minute when we go through a, what I call an energy or emotional cleansing technique that everybody needs and needs to teach everybody else. Touch is one of the most important things in our lives, and it's been denied us in a large way for the last year. Not on purpose, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, it's a part of the process, but I think we have to be aware of the consequences of it. But what is touch? So I can do this, okay. We know, we know all the horrible experiments that were done decades ago where, where children were, it was an experiment where, you know, children had lots of touch and children didn't have any touch, and, and the ones that had lots of touch thrived and the ones that didn't, didn't thrive. It's not a surprise. But what is touch? Okay, so I, I can hear my hands touching. I can feel my hands touching. I can see my hands touching. It's all an illusion. My brain says that this conglomeration of atoms and electrons and energy are hands. And these hands have come together and they're touching. But in reality, if I could build a microscope and I could go right down in between my fingers, down to one hundred millionth of a centimeter, what I would find is some atoms and circulating electrons and mostly empty space filled with an, an energy field. And those atoms and circulating ele electrons, when they get close to each other, when the electrons get within 100 millionths of a centimeter, they produce what's called a repulsive force. They never touch, they're not allowed to touch. So they repulse one another. And when they do that, it's like a magical spark. It's like an energy, it's like electricity. It feels fantastic. That's why it feels so fantastic when we touch. And there's nothing better than touching someone or being touched by somebody. Nothing better. It's also beautiful when we touch a tree or when we pet an animal. Touch is so important. And for it to be deprived is really not a good thing. 
And I'm a serial entrepreneur telling you that this is the most important thing that I can talk about right now. So when my hands come together, down at the microscopic level, it's just a bunch of atoms that are sparking and and we feel that energy and that electricity and it feels fantastic. And it's so important that we, can, we, we, we have to replenish ourselves, particularly if we're not in, a, not in a position to have touch or touch people around us. And so this energy cleansing or this emotional cleansing technique taught to me a long, long time ago, it goes back thousands and thousands and thousands of years and lots of first peoples had their various techniques and their various tools for doing this. They understand the importance of it. We're gonna put all this together now. You know when you're watching a horror movie and, the, and something scares you and the first thing you do is you do that, oh my God, or you see an accident, somebody falls over, oh my God, or spills the milk. We automatically put our hands on our face and our face on our hands and there's a reason for that because intuitively we know how to cleanse ourselves from this emotional energy that we don't want. When we see something that, that uh, sort of surprises us, let's say you're watching your favorite sport and, some, and, and, and the top sports star misses a golden opportunity to win the game in the last minute. We all go like this, oh my God, how could, the, how could she possibly miss that? We always put our hands to our head. We do it a lot. When we see someone who's sad, who's struggling, who we feel sorry for, we don't go and grab the foot. We don't, you know, twig their ear. We go to their shoulders and we pat their shoulders and we stroke their shoulders and say, don't worry, you're gonna be fine. It's okay, it'll all be over. It's okay, these things happen. We do this, okay? There's a reason for that. This is an ancient technique. We know what to do. We just have to be reminded to do it. So when you put it all together, this is what we do and it's called an emotional energy cleansing technique. I use it a lot, five, six, ten times a day, before I go into a meeting, before I make an important phone call, if I accidentally watch a ridiculous news headline, if somebody says something that upsets me, this is what I do. And so we fire up our electrons. Okay, now this is friction, but what is friction? It's atoms and electrons and there's no touch. We're firing up our, election, our electrons, getting them agitated, and you can feel the heat, but there's all kinds of other energies there too, which we don't even know how to describe yet. So you fire that up, and you use this fresh energy, this spark that you've just created by just by doing this, you created this new energy, and we use it to wash away the memory of that thing that someone said to us last night that's been driving me mad all day. And you do it two or three times. There's no science to how many times, how many, however many times you, you feel like it. I always do three, because I think there's a magic to the number three. So I do this three times and I wash away that difficult call I just had. Or I wash away that person that gets under my skin. It's gone. It's so refreshing. It's better than standing under a cold shower. And I fire up my electrons again, get my electrons all excited again and all new power and new energy. And I rub it over my head, over my crown and down the back of my neck and I shake it out. And I do this three times too and gosh, this feels good. And I get rid of the memory of that credit card bill. I'll be okay. I'll figure it out. I get rid of the memory of that negotiation that didn't go very well. It's gone. I'm refreshed, I'm ready to fight again. And I do this again, and I get rid of the sadness. And I get rid of the memory of that horrible dream I had last night, or that terrible thing I saw on TV, or that loss that I've had in relationships, or in friendships or whatever, or just the lack of touch. And so what we're doing is we're replacing. Now, if, if you're living with somebody where you can do this, you can do this for them. And it's beautiful and they will thank you forever for doing it and they'll do it for you and it feels fantastic. There's nothing better than touch. It's rejuvenating, re-energizing. But if you're in a situation where you can't do that, you're locked down, maybe you're on your own, then you can do it for yourself and you do it as often as you need to. Whenever you feel you get knocked back, whenever something, if you feel a little depressed or you feel that things just aren't going the way you want them to go, this is what you do, and it gives you such a boost, you're ready to take on anything. My name's Trevor Blake, and I'm a serious, hard-nosed, very rude sometimes, very direct entrepreneur, and this is the best thing I can teach you right now.